Continuing coverage tonight as Buncombe County tells an Asheville City Council member, pay up. This comes after he gave dozens of people a free pass out of a parking garage. News 13's Frank Forboni joins us. And Frank, how much does the county say that he owes? Well, earlier today, the county sent Bothwell this invoice for $512 to pay for the people he let out of the garage for free. He disputes that figure and says what he did was resolve a problem created by the county and those who run the garage. There were no problems at the College Street parking garage today, just people surprised by the councilman's decision to open the garage gate for dozens of people after the Moral Monday protest this week. And it's all caught on camera. Wow, doesn't seem fair, does it? But if I have to pay for parking, why should anybody else have to pay? I mean, really? <laughs> Former Republican Party Chair Chad Nesbitt is also upset. I'm just tired, sick and tired of these politicians running over the taxpayers. Unbelievable. He came to the county offices to get the documents showing how many cars Councilman Bothwell let out of the county parking garage for free. If I had just raised the gate and let them go through there, well, they would have arrested me. The county manager has sent Bothwell this invoice for $512, asking him to pay up. So having a parking pass, I led some of the cars to the back gate and let them out the employee gate. Councilman Bothwell says there was a long line and a problem with getting out the main gate. The only one gate was open here, the, the automatic gate, and it wasn't working. The county says there may have been a line, but no proof the gate was malfunctioning. They need to change the way they operate this deck. Still, Bothwell defends his actions and accepts responsibility. But some think, long lines or not, what he did was wrong. Um, there's a line now, and I'm, people are paying. I don't see that there's a problem. I mean, if we have to wait in long lines, I would think they should have to wait in long lines, too. Bothwell says he hopes to speak to the county manager about the charge. He says most of the drivers were at the Moral Monday event and averaged only about $3.50 per car, not the full $8 he's now being charged for those 64 vehicles.